what's bracken now when i was younger i was a lazy piece of shit, and instead of trying to get like a real job i would try to like find ways to finesse me like a few dollars online uh first i started out with like the online essays and all that but quickly i realized it wasn't worth it because i was only making like pennies an hour so after that i finally found some ways to make like decent money and that's pretty much what i'm going to show you today First off, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to drop some referral codes in the description. You know, like, I'm helping you out. Maybe you can help me out. If not, it's cool, because if I were you, I'd probably be like, nah, this guy. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, reselling digital codes. There's a good amount of risk that comes with this, because there's always a possibility of getting scammed. You could pay for the code, receive it, and then it turns out it doesn't work. Or the seller could claim that, oh, I tested it before you bought it. It worked fine for me. I don't know why it's not working for you. You're lying. But personally, only the first ones happened to me. The seller claimed that the code was for new accounts only. So I was like, okay, I'll just make a new account and see if it works. If it does, great. I'll sell it. If not, that sucks. So I made the new account. I typed it in. And then it shows up. I don't even know what it said. It didn't say like invalid code, but it said something like, oh, you got to input this somewhere else. So I tried typing it on the Xbox and it said invalid code. But don't let this stop you from trying it out. The other two times I tried this, I profited from it. Just don't make dumb mistakes like me. If you see that it says for new accounts only, don't buy it. Just stick to the regular ones and buy from reputable sellers and you should be fine. I made money off it and I don't see why you can't do the same either. I typically buy the codes off of GameFlip.com, and that's the website that's currently on the screen, and the link will be in the description. On the site, I can find that the codes are typically way cheaper than the ones on eBay. You can either do both the buying and selling on GameFlip and avoid like the deposit and the withdrawal fees, or you can sell on eBay or some other site. If you're going to sell on eBay, just remember there's more fees. There's a 10% fee. And then there's also another one for like a PayPal fee. I don't know if it's, it's either like 30 or 75 cents. I hate doing math, so I found a website to do it for me. The link for that would be in the description. All you have to do is put in the cost for the item, what you're going to sell it for, and it'll subtract all of the eBay fees from your profit, and it'll show you what you're actually going to make. Just remember that if you're selling on eBay, you may only want to do that if you have an account that already has a lot of positive feedback. If you're a new seller, they'll hold your money from each sale for like a week or two to help protect the buyers. So honestly, if you don't already have like an experienced like eBay account or like an established account, uh, you might as well just want to sell on GameFlip. The next method I have for you guys is making a YouTube channel. So you might have already tried making a YouTube channel and it probably didn't work and you probably only got like two or three views per video and you gave up. But I'm just letting you know there's like a lot of tips that like you can like use that'll help you grow your account and have a successful channel now when you're searching a video up and you want to watch something just think about it before you choose which video you're going to watch you pick the one that stands out the most you might not even know it that means the video has a good thumbnail title and a description so if you're trying to get a lot of views you have to make sure your video looks better than all of the other videos that are like in that category Another important thing is you have to add good tags to your video. Tags are what will make you pop up in the search bar. These are especially important for smaller channels with fewer subscribers. Usually I make the entire title a tag and then I split the title into smaller pieces and make even more tags of it and then I'll just tag anything I can think of that has to do with the video. And then of course you need to have good content or videos that people want to watch. This means recording yourself tech decking with a flip phone is probably not a good look for your channel. I don't think anybody's going to watch that. This step was pretty hard for me to learn. At first, I was uploading videos of me playing Call of Duty. Like, I had good clips and everything, but I was not getting any views. And then I realized that I'm probably not going to join FaZe. I probably won't make money off this YouTube channel. I really need to switch it up. So then I was like, hmm, what kind of videos do people watch? What do they need to watch? People need to watch tutorials because they need to learn how to fix things or improve on things. So I made this channel, started posting videos, and views just started rolling in. It was crazy. And I know that if you want to make money on YouTube, it's going to be like a long grind, especially because of the new monetization rules. Now you need like a thousand subscribers and 4,000 total hours watched in the past year. And it's going to be like hard to reach, but it'll definitely be worth it because once you reach that point, you'll be making good money. Back when I had a partnership, probably back, like back in February before they took it away, I was only making like seven to $8 a month off this account. Like it wasn't much. Once you reach like that milestone they want you to reach, You'll be making good money and it'll actually be worth it.
Personally, I think YouTube is one of the better ways to make money online because you make money off ad revenue. So it's like the more videos you post, the more views you'll be bringing in and it's just more money. Another way I made money was by selling my old high school essays online. The only reason why I'm not selling my college essays is because I don't like take the risk that somebody from my college buys an essay that I used and then I get in trouble for plagiarism. Like really getting kicked out of school isn't worth the $2 to make off the essay anyway. But um, so yeah, as I just said, you make $2 per essay you sell. And then if you look down here, you can earn more. You can refer your friends. You get a 10% bonus for every essay that they buy. So for let's say you send this out to your friends, they sell essays, you make 20 cents per essay. What I did, I went to a, a subreddit and then I posted the link on there and then I had 35 people sell essays using the code. I don't feel like doing the math, that's 20 cents times 35. It's probably about $7, give or take a little bit. Actually, yeah, I have it written down here. I made $7 off that and then $10 off essays sold. So I mean, no simple work, I was just like, all I was doing was uploading essays that I already wrote and getting paid for it or posting a link and getting paid for it. I mean, it's not like a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it because it's not time consuming. You already did the work when you wrote the essays. Also, it takes a few months before they buy your essay because they have a budget. So I uploaded mine back in like October and then they finally sold in like April or something like that. Yeah, it took me four months to get the money. And the next method is Reddit. Um, there's two reddits, one's called Beer Money, one's called Slave Labor. I actually got the et selling the essays idea from Beer Money, and that's and I made $17 off of that. And if you scroll through Beer Money, pretty much just everybody's just posting things on like how you can finesse apps to get like gift cards or like money and all that. Um, so it's like, I don't think it's really like you'll make a lot of money off it, but you'll make like good pocket change off of it. Cause I mean, at least that's how I got the idea for selling essays and that worked. And then I was going to show you the slave labor subreddit, but then you click on it and there doesn't seem to be anything here. So maybe we'll try and refresh it. Nope. There doesn't seem to be anything here. So that's pretty much it for the slave labor reddit. I'll give you that. Well, anyway, the slave labor reddit, it was pretty much like, oh, I need this textbook or, oh, I need this done. I'll give you $2 to do it. And then it was pretty much like a first come, first serve basis. Whoever could do it or like messages first or like actually completed the task first would get the money. That's what that was. So maybe if it comes back up, you can use it. If not, use something else. I already gave you like four other suggestions. And then it's up to you whether or not you want to help me out and use the referral codes. If not, it's cool. I'd probably do the same thing. You know, f this guy. He doesn't need my money. Um, so thanks.